Hello and welcome back to A Woman Who Writes. I'm Laura and today I'm going to share with you a, a short story for Kid Lit. I realized I introduced this channel as my Kid Lit adventure and I haven't read any Kid Lit so far. <laughs> I've been focusing on blog posts and things that I wrote which has actually been really helpful for me because as I've read these older blog posts, one of them from almost nine years ago, I have, I have noticed areas that I would have changed and I would have improved. And I think that's the whole point. So I can't identify where or when I learned something new or honed my craft, but I do know that practice makes perfect. And I am very far away from the perfect. And so that's why I'm practicing. And this story is one that will probably be in that category. Well, I will, I will refine it and work on it. And then I will say, wow, I could have done this and this and this. But for now, I, I think it's kind of a fun story. So I'm going to actually, I think it's so fun. I love it. This is my first. Um, my first idea. So as I was starting this kid lit journey this year, this was my first idea was Mean Girls Club. And it's a bit autobiographical. I've changed and fictionalized many things, but at any rate, this is, uh, this is it. So here we go. I get to be queen, Michelle said, moving to the center of the trampoline. No, it's my turn, said Rafa, short for Raffaella. You were the queen last time. Nope, I get to be her again, Michelle declared, tossing her blonde curls, because I am the prettiest. Rafa's dark eyes flashed with anger. The girls had been best friends their whole lives, but Michelle could be so rude. What if Gwen gets to be queen? She hasn't had a turn either, Rafa said. Fine, said Michelle, hopping off the tramp. Michelle always had a soft spot for Gwen. She and Rafa hopped off the tramp and each grabbed a ball to aim at Gwen while she jumped. Castle Attack was one of the girls' favorite trampoline games, and it was fun when everyone played nice. The next morning, Rafa, Michelle, and Gwen walked to the bus together, like they did every school day. As close as family, they called themselves the Tre Sorelle, Italian for three sisters. Michelle and Gwen loved Rafa's Italian culture. When the bus arrived, the girls squeezed into a seat together. At the next stop, a girl wearing a bare printed vest walked on. Michelle looked at her and mocked, oh look, there's Lana Kramer. Or is it Kana Lamer? Lana's eyes grew wide and she hurried past them. Oh, Rafa was horrified. Que terrible, how awful. And look at Joseph picking his nose over there. Oh, he's so gross, Michelle said loudly. Rafa's stomach felt heavy. She loved Michelle, but didn't always agree with her. Let's play I Spy, Rafa suggested, hoping to shift her friend's focus. Boring, Michelle said. I have a way better idea. Let's start a Mean Girls Club. What is that, Gwen asked. A Mean Girls Club is where we make fun of people, give rude looks, and only hang out with each other. Are you in? Rafa couldn't believe her ears. Que bruto. A Mean Girls Club is a bad idea. Gwen looked at Rafa, unsure, then back to Michelle. Um, all right, she said. Absolutamente no, said Rafa. Gwen, are you serious? Gwen lowered her head and looked away, her red hair hiding her face. When the bus stopped, Michelle linked arms with Gwen. The pair walked into school, leaving Rafa behind, wondering if she'd made the right choice. Throughout math, English, and history, the Mean Girls Club whispered and laughed together. Rafa was afraid they were laughing about her, it felt awful. Finally, the recess bell rung. The trio usually played tetherball soccer to hung out. Today, though, Rafa watched her friends walk off without her. It was like a beasting to the heart. Rafa walked outside, slowly dragging her sneakers across the ground. She stood by herself, looking around for something to do. Rafa saw Michelle and Gwen pointing and laughing at two boys. Rafa shook her head and frowned. Quanto male. How awful. She would rather be mean, be alone. <laughs> she would rather be alone than be mean. Then Rafa noticed some kids from her class starting a game of Foursquare. She longed to join, but felt afraid. What if she embarrassed herself because she had never played? 
Or worse, what if they didn't like her or were mean too? Rafa walked up to the group, swallowing her fear. Ciao, hi, Rafa said, taking a deep breath. Could I play? Sure, hop on a square, said Juana, tossing Rafa the ball. Could you show me what to do? Asked Rafa. Of course, said Abe, who began explaining the rules. Rafa smiled. This is what friendship should feel like. Someone told me that line was too preachy, but I guess I am a little bit of a didactic writer. <laughs> I'm a teacher, it's kind of natural. Rafa was having so much fun with her new friends that she almost forgot about the Mean Girls Club, almost. Rafa missed her best friends. She was sad to see them making hurtful choices. When it was time to go inside, Kelly, the tallest girl in class, and Rafa were the final two players in the game. Kelly asked Rafa, want to play again next recess? Si, grazie, she said happily. Yes, thank you. Just then, Michelle and Gwen walked by. Hi, Kelly, want to join our Mean Girls Club? Asked Michelle. It's invite only. No, thanks, said Kelly. She grabbed the ball and went to put it away. See you later, Rafa. Michelle scowled and stomped off, the charms on her bracelet clanking together furiously. Michelle, or sorry, Gwen hesitated and followed her. Rafa sighed. Reese's had been a blast and her new friends were great, but she still felt sad about the Trace Sorelli. Would she ever want, did, she didn't ever want to lose her life while friends. What should she do? After school, the students boarded the bus to go home. Rafa sat down in a seat alone, Michelle in another seat, slinging her backpack next to her. Michelle came and sat by Rafa. Ciao, said Rafa, surprised to see Gwen. How was your club? Oh, it's the worst, said Gwen. I'm out. Por qué? Why? she asked. I didn't like being mean, said Gwen. Michelle's kind of mad at me. Rafa glanced at Michelle, who was sitting alone, quietly looking at the window. Part of her thought it served Michelle right to be alone. She had been so rude lately, but she was her friend. Rafa had an idea. Hey, Michelle and Gwen, I'm going to start a new club, Rafa said. The nice girls club. Would either of you like to join? Sure, said Gwen, her green eyes lighting up. We can write notes to people in our class and tell them things we like about them. Perfecto, said Rafa. I'll write one for the bus driver too. Then she thought of her new friend Kelly, who didn't want to join the new girls club. Maybe she would want to join the next girls club. Rafa would make sure to ask her tomorrow at recess. Michelle turned to them and said, except instead of a nice girls club, what if Gwen and Rafa exchanged a word glance? It's just a nice club, she finished. Then anyone can join. Rafa smiled. That sounds wonderful. And it was. Thanks for listening. I would love to hear your thoughts on my story and I'll see you next time. Bye.